I'm Jono. I'll be working with Range Epic Agriculture, monitoring the WFP food security programs in Sudan and managing agribusiness projects in East Africa. I'm David. I've worked on the emergency program with FAO in South Sudan. Before that, on climate and agriculture policy in the European Parliament. My name is Ero. I've worked on monitoring, evaluation and learning across East Africa, most recently in humanitarian and agricultural projects in Sudan and South Sudan. My name is William. I'm a land cover specialist and a data scientist at FAO. I use open source, multi-temporal satellite imagery to monitor the agricultural landscape of developing countries. We are a group of climate policy, farming, geospatial and monitoring, reporting and verification experts with experience working in the East Africa region. Soil carbon is being released to the atmosphere in a massive scale, adding fuel to the climate change. Soil without carbon is dust, supporting neither food production nor life. Soil Watch aims to reverse both of these trends. Changes to how we farm can take carbon out of the atmosphere and put it back into the soil. And when this happens, the capacity of the soil to hold water and to produce food increases. In places like South Sudan, where we see the impacts of both desertification and flooding, this has massive implications for food security, as well as knock-on effects for resilience and reducing causes of conflict. Governments, donors and organizations that we work with are increasingly recognizing the importance of tackling soil erosion in order to reduce humanitarian need. Projects that increase soil carbon have the potential to regenerate eroded soil, thus helping to address food security and conflict issues locally, as well as climate change globally. However, the potential of these projects is held back because measuring soil impacts has been prohibitively expensive in the African context where they are most needed. Relying on the wealth of Copernicus satellite data and recent advances in machine learning and soil digital mapping, we can drastically reduce the costs of large-scale soil organic carbon mapping. Our predictive models are powered by the high spatial and spectral resolution of Sentinel-2. Valuable networks of partners, both local and global, enable us to calibrate and validate our methodology by providing us with timely and spatially distributed in situ soil samples. According to the World Bank, creating scalable soil carbon verification systems would enable $500 million in funding for soil carbon and soil rehabilitation. In the longer term, SoilWatch will engage more directly in projects funded through the sale of carbon credits that allow farmers, ranchers and pastoralists to rehabilitate soils.